Good evening and welcome. Welcome to Reiki Live. My name is Carrie Wade and I'm a Reiki master teacher here in Chandler, Arizona. Actually, right now I'm in Gilbert. I live in Gilbert and I work in Chandler. And I'm just going to try to get this shared out live on my page. Hi, Day. How are you? So welcome. Please feel free to share this out with your friends. Oh, and any groups that you might belong to. I really appreciate it. Hi, Lori. Hi, Jessica. Hello, Linda. Thank you guys for being here. Okay. Share, share, share. Share, share, share. Share, share, share. Share now public. I guess that's it. Well, I guess we'll see. I think it shared to my timeline. So how's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. It's, uh, wow. It was kind of a heavy week last week, wasn't it? Between 9-11 and all the fires going on and all the political crap and, oh. It's like, get, let's just get to the other side of this. Can we already? I'm just done. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of it. So anyway, we'll just let some nice Reiki healing energy soak into us tonight and um, take that little time out that we need for ourselves. I'm going to try to move this back a little bit here because it feels like I'm really close. So welcome. Take this little bit of time for you. We all need that me time. And so this is a great opportunity. Hi, Hope. Um, this is a great opportunity for you just to do this for yourself okay just uh just we're gonna bring it in we're gonna work with our breath a little bit and just have some silent space where we can sit and receive reiki energy um, again i practice in chandler arizona and i do distance sessions as well as in person in my office in chandler I do Karuna Reiki, I also do Usui Reiki, I teach Reiki, and I live and I love Reiki, <laughs> what can I say? I'm a, I'm a Reiki freak. It's an incredible healing energy that never does any harm, which is such a great benefit. You know, there's there are some things that we can do energetically that sometimes can set us back or cause us a little bit of an issue, but Reiki never does any harm, and that's the beautiful thing about it. It can be done distance, just like it can be done in person. If it's in person, it's typically a very light touch, hands over or hands on. It's not manipulative like a massage, it's just hands on. Hi Donna, welcome. And um, if it's done distance, it's kind of like we connect on our telephone, you know? We connect energetically to do Reiki and it works equally both ways. Sometimes I think that distance is even deeper than an in-person session, which, you know, until I had experienced some, some Reiki sessions distance uh, receiving on my own, I would never have thought that, but it, uh, it works beautifully. So, anything you're needing some healing around tonight, just set your intention, Reiki works physically, it works mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. So whatever's going on for you right now, just set your intention and, and ask for some healing around that. And we'll just we'll let our, our spirits just take over. So let's just go ahead and get grounded and drop into the moment. You know, it's so important for us just to be present. Just be present, just right now, this moment. Whatever has happened is gone. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. We can't control it. It'll come whether we're ready for it or not. So let's just be in this very moment right now and just appreciate that. Appreciate this moment that we have, that we can be together. We're part of a tribe, you know. And let's just begin with some nice deep breath. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and let it out through the mouth with a deep sigh, like this. <sighs> Let's do about two more of those. <sighs> and 
And when you breathe in, breathe in really deeply. Take it all the way, let it fill your belly and release it, letting go of everything. And just drop into that space, that quiet space. This is all about you. This is your time. And now bring whatever intention you have to mind. If you don't have an intention, that's fine. If you just want to receive. And just open your heart to receive this energy. Knowing that your own higher self, your own soul self, will direct it wherever it needs to go. Reiki works from the spiritual level. And so it goes right to the root of whatever it is that you need healing around. It's not a Band-Aid. crazy couple of weeks. So let's just release that tension now. I'm feeling a lot of tension. Let's just release it. Start with your head. Just let the creases in your forehead relax. Release those little muscles around your eyes and your mouth. Perhaps letting your mouth drop a little bit open, relaxed. The scalp resting on the skull. Release the tension in your neck. And let your shoulders drop to their natural position. As we drop into this space, our minds begin to quiet. Our heartbeat slows. Our breathing can become more shallow. Just notice whatever's going on for you right now. And then bring your attention to the third eye a little space between your eyebrows. You may feel your eyes kind of roll up towards that area. And just put all of your attention right there, right now. And remember that energy follows attention. So wherever your attention is focused, that is where your energy is moving. It's so important that we keep our thoughts, our vibrations high and in a good place letting go of anything negative and just moving to that place where we can feel peace and joy. And if you have something going on right now that maybe is making it hard to do that, invite in gratitude. And as you keep your focus on that space, that third eye space, just start to visualize or think about 
the things that you're grateful for. Maybe it's your family, maybe it's your friends, a pet, a job, a roof over your head. Just shift our energy to that of gratitude. Oh, that feels so much better. Anytime you're struggling with something or having a hard time with something, or maybe you wake up with what my friend Robert and I used to call the mean reds where you're just sad but you don't know what you're sad about. Bring your attention to that third eye space and bring your attention to what you are grateful for in your life. Just start thinking about all the blessings that you have. I've always said that it may feel to me some days that I just have shit luck or I'm just down in the dumps or I'm feeling sorry for myself about something, but I don't have to look very far to find somebody who's got it worse. And when we stop and we think about that, and we lift that other person up in prayer or send them good thoughts and good energy. We totally shift our own energy bringing ourselves back to a place of love and unity. Stepping away from judgment. Just allowing. Hi Debbie, hi Jim, hi Kristen, thank you for being here tonight. You all bless this space with your own personal energy and I'm very grateful for that. I also set the intention that whether you're on here live or you watch the replay, you're going to receive this energy. And so if you ever need to come back and watch it again, know that you can. And just let yourself go to that place of peace and gratitude. Thank you for being here. Hi, Lotus. Thank you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you for being here. So here's another little tip that can be something that can help you switch into a higher vibration, um, a 
more positive emotion. And that is to smile. Smile. It shifts you, it changes you. It's hard to smile and be like really pissed off at the same time. <laughs> smile, laugh at yourself, look at yourself in the mirror, make funny faces. Just smile and giggle. It's simple, but I love simple. As simple as we can make anything in life, I'm all for it. I don't know if that's because I'm lazy or just because I want to let go of the struggle. Mm, some of us are good at complicating things, aren't we? <laughs> we don't have to. When I was in management years ago, all of my gals that worked for me, guys and gals that worked for me at the front desk answering the phones and stuff, had a little mirror next to their phone. And the requirement was that you look in the mirror and smile before you picked up the phone. Because when somebody answers the phone with a smile on their face, we can hear it, can't we? We can, we can feel that energy. And so smiling is so powerful. I think we really need to do it even more now that we can't see each other's faces most of the time. It's really hard. There's, um, I think it affects us on a very deep level. So smile when you can, smile at others when you can. Maybe it's your own family, maybe it's your friends. Maybe at work you don't have to have on a mask. Don't ever underestimate the power of a smile, a simple smile. You guys have beautiful energy tonight. Thank you. Thank you for showing up and taking this little bit of time for yourself. You deserve it. We have so much stress in our lives these days that we're just in stress mode all the time. We gotta balance that. We gotta get it balanced. We'll make ourselves sick otherwise. Sick, tired, fat, sad, grumpy. <laughs> so take that time, take that time to just be for a few minutes. I'm going to pull a postcard from Spirit for us in a moment. This is a beautiful set of Oracle cards by Colette Baron reed And they're just beautiful messages from spirit. It's always nice to have a little reminder of what our spirit is wanting us to hear right now. Gonna bring the Reiki to a close. Again, know that you can watch as many times as you need or when, whenever you just need that little time out, little moment, just come back. If you don't wanna hear my voice over and over, just shut off the sound and just be in the energy. It's all okay. <laughs> my feelings aren't gonna be hurt. <laughs> so like I said, this is Postcards from Spirit, which is backwards for you by Colette Baron reed and These are just, these are just gorgeous cards. They're so wonderful. And the messages are so wonderful. So get yourself a set, pull yourself a card. It's a good practice just to pull one every day, whatever set you have. I don't read tarot, but I, uh, I love the Oracle cards. So I don't have to do anything but read. Okay, maybe I am lazy. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go. Dearest you, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? There is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are, not how you would like them to be. You will be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. I just had this discussion with a friend. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy. You act messy and your world stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully opened. Then you can decide, stay or go, sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. Loving you so much, always and forever. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that a great message? Mm. Yeah, you know, you guys that are here all the time, you know me, my let go, let God. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Surrender. Surrender. And I did a post about this yesterday and the about, you know, how I'm always saying, Jesus, take the wheel. Well, a lot of us say that, you know, but we hold on to the wheel and we have to let go. We have to surrender that because nobody can take that wheel for us unless we let go of it. So we have to drop that control. And for a lot of us, that's not an easy thing to do, but it's something that we can learn to do and we can make it easier. It doesn't have to be a struggle. And I think that's what this is saying. Just, you know, let it go. Take this moment right now, this present moment, and just be there and let go. So, peace and blessings to you. Thank you for being here tonight. And uh, I'll see you back here next Tuesday night. If you need to get in touch with me, you can always message me. Or you can go to my website if you'd like more information about Reiki or any of the other energy healings that I do. It's carryaway.com. Pretty simple. If you can spell my name right, you can get there. And there's also a link on my page, of course. So thank you again for being here, and I will see you next week. Peace and blessings.